Hi everyone, AppChasers.com here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Apple's personal digital assistant that's included on the iPhone and iPad, and that's called Siri. I know you've heard of Siri. You might have seen her featured in some of Apple's commercials or even been given a little preview of what Siri can do when you bought your iPhone or your iPad. So you already know that Siri will uh, allow you to make a phone call by saying, call so-and-so from your address book. Or you could text someone by saying, text so-and-so. But I want to show you some of the hidden features that you might not know about in Siri. Now, of course, in order to enable Siri, all you need to do is tap and hold on your home button. And that brings up Siri right in front of us here. You can see it's already typing out uh, as I'm speaking to you to record this uh, video. But we'll stop that. The first thing that I want you to do is to go into the settings on your iPhone. The reason we're doing that is because you want to tell Siri, first of all, who you are. So hopefully you've set up a contact of your own information in your contacts app. Uh, that would include your phone number, your email, as well as your home address, and maybe even your work address. Once you do that, if you go into the Settings app, you tab General, and then go to Siri, it wants to know who you are. So this is uh, located under the My Info setting here. So you'll just tap on this, and then you'll select that contact of yourself that you already created in the Contacts app, and then you'll have it uh, you'll have Siri know who you are. You can also select the language, the voice here, and uh, the feedback, if it gives you feedback or not, uh, right within the Siri app here. Now, here's another feature. It's called Hey Siri. When your iPhone is plugged in, all you need to do is say Hey Siri at any time while it's plugged in, and Siri will automatically launch no matter where you are in your iPhone. But I don't like to use that. I'd rather just press and hold the home button like I showed you. So we're just going to keep that as it is. But let's talk about some of these features that you can do with Siri. Now, the first thing I want to show you is to check your voicemail. So you can simply tap and hold on your home button. Siri, do I have any voicemail? You have a new voicemail message from And then it brings up our latest voicemail that we received. You can also ask it to play your voicemail. Play my last voicemail. Here's your voicemail message from 248-670-3588. And now it's playing that voicemail for me. Wednesday. So that that's a cool thing you can do with Siri. The other thing I want to show you how to do is with regard to your emails. Now, of course, when you receive an email, you probably get a notification, but if you've been away from your phone and uh, you don't wanna go through that notification process or even launch the mail app, you can just ask Siri about your emails. So let's try that right now. Do I have any new emails? You have at least 25 new emails. There we go. It brings up Saturday. my emails and it uh, shows me right here what I have in my inbox. We can also ask Siri to search our email for a particular message. So, for example, I know I've got an email from Deal News that I received, but let's see if it finds that here. We'll launch Siri. Do I have any emails from Deal News? You have at least 25 email messages. Oh, and there from you Deal go. News we brought up January all our emails that we've received from Deal News. So that's a cool way that Siri can check your email, search your email. You can reply to email with Siri. Uh, you can compose email right from uh, the get go and tell it to email a certain individual in your contacts. Uh, so, pretty cool what Siri can do with emails. Now, Siri can also add events to your calendar. So let's show you how we can do that. First of all, let's check to see if we have any events today. How does my calendar look today? You don't have any appointments on your calendar today. No appointments. How about tomorrow? How about tomorrow? You have a couple of appointments tomorrow. All right, so we've got a couple of appointments tomorrow on our calendar. Now let's create an event in our calendar using Siri. So I'm going to create an event uh, with a contact called Mark 
tomorrow at 10 a.m. And notice here that it's going to ask me which mark from my address book I want to meet with. Meet with Mark tomorrow at 10 a.m. Which Mark? Okay, I can create your meeting. Note that you already right, have so two events. All right, so we chose events. one. We'll say yes with Mark Meister is scheduled to that, for and now I created tomorrow. that calendar event. So it's a pretty cool way to automatically create events in your calendar. This is a feature I use all the time. It's the Reminders feature of Siri. You may have noticed that you have a Reminders app on your iPhone and iPad. Well, Siri can tie into that and allow you to create reminders on the fly. And there's some cool ways that you can do that. Let's create the first one, which is a time-based reminder. In 20 minutes, remind me to pick up the groceries. Here's your reminder. All right, there's okay, a reminder and we'll say you. confirm. Great, so it's ready to remind me. But Siri can go a step further and actually remind you to do things based on your location. So watch what I do here. When I leave here, remind me to get groceries. Here's a reminder for when you leave here. Shall I create So here it? we go. It knows where I am and it's going okay, to create you. this reminder. Uh, based on when I leave this premises. So what Siri has done here is it's created a what's called a geofence and that's going to look at where I am based in GPS and then when I leave this particular zone it's going to remind me to do something. So I do this all the time when I'm at work and I ask Siri to remind me to do something when I leave work so I remember before I go home to carry out that particular task. Yet Siri can also remind you to do something when you arrive at a location. Now you might remember that we tied Siri in to our contact in our settings uh, app under general Siri my info. So now it knows where I live. So that's pretty cool because now I can ask Siri to remind me to do things when I get home. So watch what so watch how I do this. When I get home Remind me to take out the garbage. Here's a reminder for when you get home. So okay, now it knows that you. I want to do that when I get home, and it's going to remind me again based on that geofence technology. So it's pretty cool how that works. And I'm sure you can think of a lot of ways you can use that reminder feature. It'll also work with contacts that are in your address book. So it might say, when I get to so-and-so's house, remind me to do something. So you can use it in that way as well. Siri is also very powerful when it comes to timers and alarms. So for example, if you want to set an alarm tomorrow morning to wake up at a certain time, you can have Siri do that for you. Tomorrow morning, set an alarm for 6 a.m. I've set an alarm for 6 a.m. Okay, so it's ready to go. It sets my alarm and it'll remind me or set off that alarm at 6 a.m. But we can also use Siri to turn off alarms. Turn off my alarm at 6 a.m. There we go. It turned off the one that's that one I just created. While I'm cooking or my wife is cooking, I like to set timers too to remind me when a certain um, part of our meal is completed cooking. So you can do that with Siri. I'll launch Siri and we'll set a timer. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. All right, so our timer is already going now. So another cool way to use Siri to manipulate the clock and timer functions on your iPhone. Now Siri, we showed you, can uh, work with GPS. It also works with maps. So if I'm in a location that uh, I haven't been to before, perhaps I want to know how to get home, you can ask Siri to just take me home. Take me home. Getting directions to home. So this is going to launch the Apple Maps app and it's going to show us where we live and how long it's going to take us to get there. Starting so that's a pretty cool feature of Siri. Um, now we can also ask 
Siri to take us to different places. So if we're feeling in the mood for pizza or coffee or even McDonald's, we can ask Siri where the closest McDonald's is and then it'll show us how to get there. Where can I get pizza around here? I found a lot of pizza restaurants. So you see nearby. how Siri brought up a list of pizza places uh, based on my location, and it also shows us the rating and where they are. Now, if I tap on one of these, it's going to show me a little more information, and then we can also launch the Maps app and get directions right to that location. We can also ask Siri about ratings of particular restaurants in our area. I'll show you how to do that. How is the cheesecake in Novi, Michigan rated? I found nine restaurants. All right, so Tap I just said cheesecake, but it's asking me if I want to uh, look at information with regard to the, the cheesecake, cheesecake factory. factory gets so I say stars. yes, and it brings up reviews for the Cheesecake Factory restaurant. So pretty cool how Siri can use uh, its technology to show you reviews and get you the best meal possible in your area. Just a couple more things I want to show you how to do with Siri. Uh, one is with regard to weather. You can ask Siri to look up weather conditions in your area. What's the weather look like tomorrow? Some bad weather coming up tomorrow. All right, so it gives us a nice layout of the next week. Snowing. Actually, a little more than a week. Um, not looking too good. Negative four tomorrow and snowing. But if you want to feel a little bit better or maybe worse, uh, you can look up weather locations in any area. What's the weather look like tomorrow in San Diego? Okay, here's the weather for San Diego. All right, California that's a little bit tomorrow. better. So you can use Siri to look up weather in that area. Now, you can also use Siri to ask about movies, movie theaters. So, for example, I want to look up a movie here. Let's say we want to look up the SpongeBob movie that's out now. Where can I see the SpongeBob movie? Okay, I found seven theaters. All right, I found seven theaters in my area. We can uh, tap on one of these. We see the SpongeBob movie is showing at 615. We can tap on that and find a little bit more information. But this works not only with new movies that are in theaters, but it also works with finding out information about other movies. So let's look up some information about Toy Story, for example. Should I see Toy Story 2? I found Toy Story 2. All right, so it gives us our review here. It gives us our Rotten Tomatoes rating. Uh, we can also tap on that to find some of the reviews from Rotten Tomatoes. So it's a cool way to find out information about movies, whether they're new or old. Now the last thing I wanna show you how to do with Siri is to launch an app. That's right, you can launch any app that's on your iPhone using Siri. If you read appchasers.com, you know I love the app called PDF Expert. So let's launch it using Siri. Launch the PDF Expert app. All right, it opens up PDF Expert and it's ready to use just like that. And you can do that from anywhere on your iPhone. Let's try another app. Launch Spotify. All right, it's going to switch over and launch Spotify just like that. So it's pretty cool how Siri can launch apps, look up weather, write emails, remind you to do things when you get to locations. There's so many things that Siri can do, and this is just the first video that we're reviewing some of these things. And as more become available, we'll make more videos for you. But this has been AppChasers.com.